Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make foam core cubes. We're going to be doing a lot of work drawing perspective in this class, and the absolute best way to learn perspective is to actually see it for yourself. So to do that, I'm going to have you build yourself a series of cubes made out of foam core so you can stack them in front of you and draw the perspective that you are seeing. Now, foam core is a really great tool for artists to use when trying to help build complicated compositions. What's great about foam core is that it's a relatively cheap material. It is easy to cut and then tape together and build a structure of any sort. So it can be a lot faster than sometimes going out and trying to find the perfect structure or building that already exists out there. This way you can create your own type of structure and build it in a way that's a lot easier for you to visualize. If you're not as good about drawing perspective out of your head, sometimes it's a lot easier just to build it, even if it's a simplified version of the structure. And then you can light it so you can see exactly what the lighting and the shadows would look like and the reflective light. And then all you need to do is take out your camera and move your camera around the scene to find the best angle for whatever your picture is. So it can be a really great tool for helping you visualize whatever your illustration is going to be. For now in this class though, we are just going to be building cubes. So I've given you detailed instructions on how to build your cubes together. It's a little complicated because it's essential for your cubes to be perfect squares for this to actually work right. All your angles need to be right angles. It needs to be the right size. Otherwise, if your cube is all wonky and messed up and has jagged edges, it's gonna be so hard for you to draw perspective. So like everything else I like to talk about, you know, try to make this as easy for you as possible in the long run by making sure you really follow the directions. The first thing you should do is to map out the pieces you are gonna be cutting on your foam core. You have a limited amount of space on your foam core, so I really recommend drawing everything out first before you start cutting. You know the rule where measure twice, cut once, and that way you don't end up with cubes that are the wrong size. Trust me, I make mistakes all the time, and I often make mistakes when measuring, so I always make sure I go back and remeasure everything to make sure it is correct before I cut it. So you will be making three different sized cubes. You're gonna be making six inch cubes, four and a half inch cubes, and three inch cubes. In the instructions, I have given you the exact sizes all the pieces need to be and how to tape them together. For the six inch cube, you need two pieces that are six by six and four pieces that are five and five eighths by five and 13 sixteenths. Remember, accuracy is everything. If your sizes aren't correct, your cube won't turn out the correct size. For the four and a half inch cube, you're gonna have two pieces that are four and a half by four and a half, and four pieces that are four and one eighth by four and five sixteenth. And for the three inch cubes, you need two pieces that are three by three, and four that are two and five eighths and two and 13 sixteenths. Once you have all drawn them out on your board and you have made sure they all fit, and you have made sure that they are all the correct size, you are ready to cut out. But first, I want to make sure you use a new X-Acto blade. And I wanted to show you that I did this because it's essential to getting clean cuts. If you use an old blade, and it doesn't even matter, you know, if you only used it a couple times, I would still take out a fresh brand new blade when you do this. Because if your blade is old in any way, you'll end up with jagged edges and your cubes will look terrible and it'll make it really hard for you to draw perspective. After I've cut them all out, I then start assembling. You start by assembling the four smaller pieces and you wanna see how they, they actually overlap. You can look at the diagram I gave you or here in the video, make sure each side is overlapping one another and that 
you make the height the shorter dimension and the width is going to be the longer dimensions that are overlapping on top of each other. You're going to use tape to put them together. This will give you nice clean edges, which is really important when having perspective that all your edges are clean. So use white tape, try to make it as straight as possible and as clean as possible when you're taping them together. After the four side pieces are taped together, you can then tape on the top and the bottom, doing the same thing using the tape, making sure to cut the sides of the tape off so you have those nice clean sides as well. After you have put together all of your cubes, I want you to take your large six inch cube and you are going to do some drawings on three of the sides of them. You can see in my diagram that I want you to have one side with a, a plus sign that is going through the center of your cube. Make sure you measure it so it's exactly dividing your cube in the center, going each way. You are then going to have a second side of the cube that is a circle. And then I want a perfect circle that goes all the way to the edges. The best way to do this is to use a compass, or if you're like me and you cannot find your compass, you can find another object around your house or your dorm that fits the perfect size of your cube. I happen to find a bowl. And then draw out your circle. It's really imperative that you want your circle to be perfect. You don't want to just freehand a circle here. So make sure it goes all the way up to the edges as well. And then the third side has a circle and the plus sign on it. Once again, when we get to drawing circles and ellipses, you want to be able to see a nice clean ellipse on your cube. And make sure you draw these on your cube so those three sides are next to each other. You can only ever see three sides of a cube at once. So from one view, you should be able to see three blank sides of your cube. And if you rotate it from the other view, you should be able to see your circles and plus signs on it. So make sure you plan that out where you're going to be drawing them on your cubes. And that's it. You'll notice in later videos that I end up coloring the edges of my cubes to make it easier when I talk to you guys about perspective. You may want to do that, but I would at least wait to see, you know, how the perspective goes if you will need the colored edges or not. And remember, accuracy is everything. Make sure they are clean. Make sure they have straight lines. I want to see right angles. You have a second piece of foam core in case you need to do this again. Trust me, it will make it easier for you in the long run.